with your money, don't care who judge Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love Stay out the way, if you a gangster, kill or a thug Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement Now your name on affidavits and court indictments Can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes up Yo, what's good y'all, what's the word man Y'all know the count man, we back for another one You know I got y'all all bangers at all times Every play I got y'all man, but Please tell me y'all been staying out the way, man. Please. Because that's what we got to do out here, man. If you watching this channel, man, you like watching staying out the way. Trey, man, you must stay out the damn way. How could you watch this channel and you not staying out the way? That would be crazy. But I just hope everybody's doing the right thing, man, because I don't want to see nobody go to those go to those prison cells and, and, and just experience the jail and prison life, man. It's not a good life. I don't wish that on nobody. I want everybody out here with their family. If they can just enjoy life, man, it's a beautiful life out here, even when, you, when you're doing nothing. If you're broke out here, you're still winning. You're not winning in prison. If you're out here, you're winning. It's a big difference, y'all. So do the right thing and stay y'all ass out the way. That's all I ask, man. But appreciate y'all tying me up. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Like, share, and subscribe. We gotta keep going up. That's the only way, man. We got to share it out to everybody, man. If you in another country watching me, man, share it out. It's the only thing to do. Let's get the word around that we staying out the way, y'all. Let's get it, man. We have to. Let's get the, let's spread it. Let's spread it everywhere. We have to, man. But with that being said, man, let me stop holding y'all up, man. Y'all know I got one for y'all, man. I got one for y'all. And the story I got for y'all today is called The Predator and His Wife. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called, man. It's real talk, because that's what it was. That's what I witnessed. That's what I saw in my own two eyes. I seen a predator, and I seen his wife. You know what I mean? And I know what people saying. Like, why you always... Like, I don't even always do these stories, but I have to do these stories. And the reason why I have to do these stories is because it's a percentage of my audience that I have to warn. Everybody's not tough and hard that can fight and do all this stuff that might mess up one day and go to prison. You know what I mean? Everybody's not like how everybody is, you know what I mean? There's people out there that has a chance to maybe not protecting themselves if they go to prison. There's people out there that might be outnumbered if they come to prison. Every prison has different politics and you must be on point about what I'm telling y'all because it's predators always in prison. There will always be predators in prison. Predators will die and, 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 and it'll be a whole new batch of predators coming in because that's what goes down in prison. People prey on the weak, and then you have the ones that like homosexuals that prey on the weak. So they are predators. So I have to put y'all on point regardless of what nobody says. I have to tell these stories, man. So y'all walk with me on this one, man. Let's get it, man. We on Sussex for this one right here, man. 2005. 2005, y'all. And I'm just getting out the hole. I'm just getting out the hole for a dirty yawn. That's usually what I usually went to the hole for on Sussex 2, for dirty yawns. You know what I mean? I'm just getting out the hole for my second dirty one on this one. And they telling me that I'm going to 4D. You know what I mean? Now, 4D was an all right part. I knew a few dudes that was in there, so I was cool with going to 4D. I'm a 2C type of guy because they always send me back there, but this time I'm going on the other side of the yard. So I'm cool. I'm cool with that. So as I'm coming into the building, I go up the steps. I'm about to walk in the slider, but it's lockdown time when they move me. So as I'm coming up to um, um, uh, up the steps into the slider, when I look into my pod, I can see it's a few people out there and the people that's cleaning. Now, the people that's cleaning off the rip, I noticed it was a tall dude and it was a light-skinned dude that was out there. Now, the light-skinned dude that I saw, he was a homosexual. I didn't saw him before in the compound, you know what I mean? Like, he was kind of like, I mean, he was a popular homosexual. I'm not even going to lie. Like, people knew him. A lot of the other homosexuals knew him and dealt with him. You know what I mean? And now I'm walking into the block where he's at. Now, I done saw this man on the outskirts, on the yard. You know what I mean? But now I'm actually witnessing it up close and personal. Now, I'm still pretty young at the time. You know what I mean? So I got my eyes open for everything. Like, I'm, you know, I done saw a lot of stuff. 
I done witnessed a lot of the larceny and crazy stuff and how these people can come at you and try to trick you, even though they pick who they going to trick. But at the same time, like, I'm still got my eyes open. So that's why I was so damn nosy, y'all. I had to be. And if you ever been to prison, you know where I'm coming from. Like, everybody that watch me, that complain, y'all never been to prison. Y'all don't know how this is. This is how it is in here. You have to watch and be aware of your surroundings. So, me being aware of my surroundings, I pin them two off the rip. Now, when I come into the junk, the dude, the tall dude that was cleaning, you know what I mean? He pinned me, and the CO pinned me. He was like, yo, Axel Russell, you going in too. So, I went to the booth. I hear dudes calling me, Weezy, yo. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? They're like, bro, I'm going to catch you tomorrow, bro. You in here? I'm like, damn right. I'll let me, bro. I'm like, yo, send me something. I'm like, all right, so boom. I go to the booth. I said, what cell I'm going to? She was like, you going to sell 26. So I'm like, all right, boom. I go to sell 26. I'm in there with my homeboy, Mike. You know what I mean? My homeboy, Mike, sell. Now, my homeboy, Mike, was about to get transferred probably about soon. He told me when I came in there, like, damn, bro, they're going to move you in. I'm about to get transferred. I'm like, no, man. But like, so at least I'll get the bottom bunk, so I'm good. You know what I mean? So it was cool being in there with him until he got transferred. But when I come in the pod, before I left, before I got the dirty on, it was a dude that owed me some smoke that I already had paid for. And he was in one building. Now, he tried to straighten me with the weed while I was in the hole, but I couldn't get all that back there. I told him I, I didn't need it. So I did like a month and a half back there in the hole. So by the time I came out, dude was an honorable dude. You know what I mean? He was like, yo, I, I still got you. You know what I mean? He was like, but this is the only thing I can do. You know what I mean? He was like, I got to eight ball of Hardy's chicken. And Hardy's chicken is hard, crack, whatever you want to call it. That's what we call it down here, Hardy's chicken. But he had an eight ball of that for me. You know what I mean? He had an eight ball just to straighten the money of the ounce that he owed me. So I didn't want to take it, but I took it. So he told me to let him know when I was getting out the hole and he got me. So boom, I come in the jump. Me and my homeboy chilling, you know what I mean? Everything love, you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, bro. You know what I mean? He was like, yeah, bro, you got to get used to that, bro. He was like, yo, the tall dude, you know what I mean? He was like, yo, his name P, man, you know what I mean? He was like, the uh, the light-skinned dude, his name Teddy, you know what I mean? He was like, yo, they inseparable, bro. He was like, yo, that's what I'm telling you, man. He was like, bro, that joke is disgusting, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just witnessing how they move on an everyday basis and do what they do on an everyday basis. He was like, bro, I'm telling you, like, you might hate it, you know what I mean? He was like, they don't bother nobody, they don't supposed to bother. So at the end of the day, you, you good, you know what I mean? So I'm like, for real, man? I'm like, what dude from? He was like, dude, he from DC, you know what I mean? I'm like, for real, I'm like, damn, I'm like, all right, you know what I mean? So, boom, we kicked it for the rest of the night, we stayed up late, boom, went to sleep, you know what I mean? I gotta get my property the next morning, you know what I mean? So, boom, I wake up, when I wake up, it's stand by for breakfast. You know what I mean? So, of course, I'm going to get up and go to breakfast. I don't got none of my property yet, none of that. So, I'm going to breakfast just to see who's in the pod. So, when the pod all came out, they do stand by for chow. Everybody come out in the pod. I'm seeing everybody, dapping everybody up. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is nuts, man. I'm like, damn, I'm over here with y'all now. Everything's smooth. Happy to be around a few guys. You know what I mean? So, boom. When I look, I look. And at the first table, like... First of all, from what I noticed, the dude C and the homosexual dude Teddy, they're in cell, you know what I mean, 12. They all the way in the corner, like the back corner. Like cell 12 on the bottom tier is the last cell. And it's by like kind of way. They got like a little wooden joint that where dudes can come use the bathroom and, and pee real quick. Nobody does number two on that toilet because it's an out in the open toilet. But it's right by cell 12 kind of like. You know what I mean? Like, cell 12 couldn't even come to the door and without, you know what I mean? If he knew somebody was using the bathroom, he would get shot in the face because it's like, his door is right there. So, they was all the way in the corner. So, when I look, they come from out the cell, you know what I mean? Both of them dressed and the tall dude C sit down and the homosexual dude Teddy just start brushing his hair. Not his hair, he brushing the dude C hair. He's sitting on the table and he's behind him just brushing his waves. Like, and I'm like, that's the first crazy thing I witnessed. I'm like, what the hell, bro? He was like, man, I told you, bro. It's nuts, bro. You know what I mean? He was like, bro, you ain't seen nothing yet, bro. I was like, Shh. I'm just happy to be out the hole, bro. Forget them. You know what I mean? So, boom, I go to breakfast. My man that owed me works in the kitchen, so he saw that I was out. Boom. He like, look, bro, I'm about to send a jump to you. I'm going to get my, my celly to get down. You know what I mean? Before breakfast over with. So, he's like, I'm going to get somebody to bring it to you all the way upstairs. The yard work. I'm like, all right. He said, this when he call you to the door. Come to the door. Boom. He'd make the play for me. I get the eight ball. I get the eight ball of heart. You know what I mean? I didn't want it because I didn't, like, 
around that time, I really wasn't dealing in that drug at the, that, that, that particular time. Later on, when I got the 3D and all that, yeah, I started touching a couple of other hard drugs, and I would deal with that. My thing was weed, so now I have this. I'm in, I'm in a whole new lane of now I have to find somebody to deal with it that, that, that uses this stuff. You know what I mean? But I'm not being like I'm thirsty with it. I'm just chilling. It's in the cut. I got it. It's insurance. It's always people that do it. So I, at the end of the day, I know it's money in my pocket. You know what I mean? So boom, I go upstairs, show my celly. Boom, we chop it down, get everything right. He showed me what to do. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to smoke him, bro. I got like $2,800. You know what I mean? He was like, yeah, bro. I threw him something for looking out. He was like, look, I know you don't want to. He was like, yo, but the boy, Teddy, and the dude C, he was like, both of them get high, bro. I was like, for real? He was like, yeah. He was like, no, you don't want to. He was like, man, but I'm telling you. You know what I mean? He was like, I refuse to deal with him. He said, because you know I'm about to go home. So he was like, I'm about to send my joke, what you gave me, to the other side of the yard. I'm like, damn, bro. I was like, I really, I'm chilling. I don't want to deal with him. But he was like, if you do, make money good. He was like, the dude C is a store box. You know what I mean? He was like, he store box who he want, but he got bread. He can send bread. You just got to deal with him. I'm like, ah, I really don't want to deal with him. I don't want to deal with him. I'm getting predator vibes. Antennas are up. I'm promising you. I don't want to deal with the man. So, boom. I'm in the pod. You know what I mean? Now I got my property. Now I'm situated. You know what I mean? A couple days and I went by. I still have not I still have like I was in a rush to get rid of the heart. So, boom. I'm just seeing how the pod is. I'm seeing how the gambling is. I see they got the Dungeons and Dragon players as usual over here off in the corner. You know what I mean? Like It's just like any other normal pod. They're gambling. Dudes are smoking weed. It's, it's the normal stuff that's going on in the pod. So as I'm in the pod, like I see another strange thing. You know what I mean? I seen the, 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 the dude, the homosexual dude, Teddy. He came out. He come out to sell. You know what I mean? And we don't have microwaves or nothing like this at this time. But he came out to sell, and he brought their food out. But the way he had it proportioned and situated, and like he had it nice, and I, I sat there and I saw him like, like just the way he was preparing the food. Like I'm just like I never seen that. Like I done seen dudes get the trash bag and make swoles and boom, 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 boom. Ah, hot water in it, crunch it up, do all the stuff you need to do, let it cook, put something over it, then it's time to eat. No, this dude was sitting there. And he was really like prepping the food and he was just, I'm just like, what the hell is he doing? My man, like, Shh, they eat good every night. When I look up, the dude C come out the cell. He's walking towards the dude Teddy. He gets to the table. You know what I mean? The dude Teddy already got his plate ready. It's like, I don't know how they end up getting like little plates. It was like, a, they, we had bowls, but they had like these little, I don't know if they got these from another compound or what, but they let them keep it. They let these people keep it. They got the little plate bowls looking type of thing. I was like, where did he get that from? He got his junk ready, got his poured his soda. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, damn, they eating like a married couple. I was like, damn, this shit crazy. I'm like, this is nuts, man. My man like, yo, bro, when you was in a hole, you missed it. I'm like, miss what? He was like, bro, this is my word. He said, the dude went outside and they got married. He was like, look, bro. He said, man, they go to church every Sunday. He said, the dude C is locked in with the unit manager. He said, the dude C, the unit manager rocked with him, dumb hard, but knowing him from another camp, he rocked with him, you know what I mean? So he was like, he the head house man, you know what I mean? He said, he got the dude Teddy moved up here after he got on the compound. He said, him and Teddy been in the room for like a year. He was like, bro, they fight like every three, four days, bro. He was like, bro, you about, I'm telling you, bro, maniac shit. I'm like, what? He like, bro, I'm telling you, bro. He was like, man. Listen, he was like, dude, got major juice with the, with the administration. You know what I mean? So, like, on second thought, I don't even think you should rock with him on, you know what I mean, on no business. So, I'm like, I'm definitely, I, bro, I was like, I never hollered that dude, bro. I was like, I still got the whole joint. I was like, bro, I'm just chilling. There's no rush. You know what I mean? There's no rush. But just to hear that it was a wedding on the yard, you know what I mean? Like, it was that, that was kind of like, you know, I told you, I'm fresh coming in. Like, I'm fresh coming in and, like, I'm witnessing this stuff that it was actual, it was an actual wedding on the yard. So I'm like, this is nuts, man. So as time went on, I'm in there for a little second now, you know what I mean? And I never really said a couple words to, to the dude, you know what I mean? I got predator vibes from him once I started noticing that they used to go after kind of like the Dungeons and Dragon players. Now, the reason why I say they'll go after the Dungeons and Dragon players, um, players is because they were predators. You know what I mean? And those would be the guys, like I told y'all in my, in my old story, which is the Dungeons and Dragons story, that 
the Dungeons and Dragon players are always the loners. They're always the ones that really don't have no family, nobody to call, like really be having no money. Majority of them, you know what I mean? That's why they play that game because it takes them out of their situation. It takes them out of that. So I seen him kind of like, you know what I mean? Like every time I look up, he talking to one. And every time I look up, it's one coming from back there. They sell little store box stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm just peeping the play. I, I'm a veteran with noticing the, the predator activity. I, I didn't seen it. You know what I mean? I know it's up there. And I'm just on point. And my antennas be up. That's why my predator stories be so vivid. Because it's like I really had to analyze and with my parenthal vision, watch every goddamn thing and see all this madness. This is what I had to witness, y'all. So, boom. Next thing you know, you used to see them go outside while we on the yard. They out there on the yard talking to, to this one particular white dude. Now, this particular white dude, I didn't know his name at the time, didn't know who he was, where he was from, or none of these things. But it was a particular white dude that they used to always go outside and talk to on the yard. Now, it went from talking to on the yard to now this white guy's in our pod. So, now I'm starting to see that the dude, he kind of like got a thing for white dudes, but it's blowing me because, pause, how the hell he mess with a light-skinned dude? So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm like, this is nuts, man. So I'm at the poker table when they move the white dude in. So as I'm at the poker table, the old head dude, Thomas, that's running the poker game, we all at the jump, boom, the slider open. We see the white dude come in, everybody look. Everybody see. The dude, Thomas, said, oh, man, that's damn dumb. That's dude, that's the dude, Ricky, man. I'm like, Ricky, he like, yeah, he like, yeah, he come in here chasing. I'm like, chasing? Who are you chasing? He was like, man, he be talking to, 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 to the married couple. I'm like, what? I'm like, he was like, man, listen, man. He was like, bro, they beyond freaky, man. He was like, they like the tag team and turn dudes out together and meet. And I was like, what? He was like, man, I was like, hold on. You got to be joking, bro. He was like, I'm telling you, this is what they do. He was like, tell him. There was another dude at the table. He was like, tell him. He was like, man, they wild. He was like, they wild. That's what they do, man. He was like, you just got to see and don't see. I was like, I don't see, but I see. I was like, who can't notice the predator activity of these people? Like, you know what I mean? I done seen him, you know what I mean? Go from talking on the yard to this white dude, and now he's rolling this stuff into the pod. So I'm like, damn. But the dude, the dude see the predator. He kind of got the pod on smash. He comes out every cleaning. If we're on lockdown, he's passing out the trays. He's passing out canteen. He's do, he does everything. that I mean, He's the one. You know what I mean? So with a guy with juice like that that's involved in homosexual activity, you know what I mean? They usually have big juice. They, they juice usually be big anyway. You know what I mean? So boom. Now that the white dude's in the pod. You know what I mean? The white dude's in the pod. He's running around with them. He's eating with them. You know what I mean? And off rip, he didn't look like a, a dude that was a homosexual. He was just a white dude. And he kind of looked like, he kind of put you in the mind of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. He had the, the hair like him kind of, and he was just a skinny white dude. Now, he didn't look like he was weak either. He wasn't that short. He was kind of tall. And he was just a white dude. But now that he's running around with them, I don't know if he's aware that this is what they are. And this is what they be doing, the predator and the dude Teddy, or he's just with the action, period. So I'm watching everything from afar. All I can do is say, this is predator activity. When you lure somebody in, it's predator activity. So I'm not rocking with them, man. All I'm doing is just chilling, just seeing all the madness that's happening around me. You know what I mean? I'm seeing all the madness that's happening around me, man. So, boom, that happened. Now the white dude's in the pot. We was in the cell one night. And this was probably like a few days later, a few, three, four days later, and we in the cell, and as we're in the cell, I hear a noise, ah, no, nah, no, nah, motherfucker, no, nah. I'm like, and the dude, Teddy, I can't even impersonate his voice, he had the dumbest voice in the world, so we hear a noise, so it's coming from afar, so, you know, I told you, though, I'm in 26, down around the corner is where they at in cell 12, so I hear it, but it wasn't like loud, but I hear the commotion, boom. Nothing of it. Went to sleep. Woke up. Time for breakfast. As we come out for breakfast, I hear the noise again. I wake up. I come to the door and look. When I come to the door and look, y'all, I see the dude, Teddy. He's chasing C around the pod, and he has something in his hand. Now, the way he's running, he's not running 
in the middle of the pod chasing him because the CEO in the booth with a song, he's chasing him like they came from sale 12 and then he hit the corner with sale 13 to 22 ago. And now that's like behind the steps. So all you seen, when I look, I just seen a shirt come by and then I seen the dude Teddy. So as I come down just to get nosy, I look down the steps. When I look over the tier, I see the dude Teddy got him cornered and he got something in his hand. I'm like, what the? He like, man, stop, man. Stop that, man. Quit playing. Quit playing, man. What you doing? No, man, chill out, man. Don't worry about that, man. You don't got to worry about that. I got you. I got you. And the dude telling like, you better stop lying to me. He was like, man. He was like, please. He was like, man, I should kill you. I was like, I was like, bro, I, just, I didn't even want to see no more. I went back in the cell told myself. My cell was like, bro, I told you. I was like, I said, this is madness. Word, they get away with the junk. They get away with the junk. He calmed Teddy down. You know what I mean? Look like Teddy had like a little mark on his, like right here, like dude C might have banged him up a little bit in the cell. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is wild, man. I'm like, the predator and his wife, like this is a, a domestic dispute. I'm like, this is nuts. I'm like, this is crazy, man. He chasing them with the knife in front of the pod. Like they really like, and they getting away with this madness, man. So I'm like, this is nuts, man. I'm like, this is the craziest thing. One of the craziest things that I witnessed at my young age around this time right here, y'all. You know what I mean? I didn't ask to walk into this situation. I got put in prison. And where they put you at, you got to live. You got to live. If you, if you don't want to be around homosexuals in prison, you will be bouncing around from pod to pod because they in every damn pod down there. You know what I mean? It's a part of prison. You have to deal with this stuff. You have to. So I'm like, I'm deal with it, man. This is nuts, man. I'm like, this is. I know this isn't gonna end good, but this is this is crazy right here. But they've been in selling, they've been selling for years now. They've been selling for years now. So just through the time of the white dudes in the pod, they done had domestic disputes, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. People started noticing like weird activity. Like the, one of the weird activities, again, another weird activity. I'm at the poker table, y'all. We playing poker kind of like in the middle of the pod at the poker table. And as I'm playing poker, and I'm dealing the cards. I look. I see a shower. And I never really paid attention to when they went to the shower. When I look, the whole shower. Now, people will cover their showers. People will cover their showers. Like, when I get in the shower, I'll take my T-shirt off. Boom. Put it right. Because the Sussex showers had, like, gates. It was like a gate. And they opened like this. And they closed like this. And it was like a... Just imagine, like, a, um, I can't even, like... It just had holes like in a gate of a, it looked like a gate door with a chuck hole in the middle of it. I don't know why it's a chuck hole in the middle, but sometimes if you go to the hole, they will put you in the shower and handcuff you. And then that's how they'll put the cuffs off you or they're gonna handcuff you more. Like they'll that's why the chuck hole probably was there. But there's chuck holes in the shower. It was two and two, two at the top, two at the bottom. Then they had two cowboy showers with the doors open from the low end, and it'd just be covering your bottom, middle. You know what I mean? Nobody really got no showers either. But that's how the shower situation was. But when I looked, the, the, the far shower to the first bottom tier shower, I looked, the whole junk, the junk got a sheet on it. It got a sheet on it, and it's like it's tied real tight, and it got a sheet on it, like it's tied from the top to the bottom. So it's just white covering the whole shower. Now, usually you wouldn't even be able to do this activity because if the CEO in the booth see that, like they wouldn't be comfortable. Like they'll probably think you in there trying to kill yourself or anything. But they in there with the whole sheet. So I'm like, damn. So they ain't paying no mind. Boom. A little bit of time go by. I seen it. I'm like, what the hell? Next thing you know, you hear cell break. When cell break come, boom. You hit, you, you seen the shower door open. Boom. When the shower door open, everybody say, Phew. that's word. I look too. I ain't gonna lie. I look. Pause. I look. Because they're coming out clothed. With, they're coming out with clothes on. But everybody look. Everybody was trying to figure out who the hell is in that jump shower like that. Man, it's my word. We look. We seen the dude Ricky coming out of there first. He came out with a shower bag too. And he tried to play it off like he was just standing by the shower. He was already dressed and everything. You know what I mean? The next thing you know, the sheet comes down. When the sheet came down, you seen the dude first, the predator. And then you seen the dude, the homosexual dude, Teddy, come out. He come walking out. And they sail is right there. Boom. It was like a quick tune around the corner. They disappeared into the cell. Boom, did a cell break. Ricky goes in the cell with them. I'm like, damn, what the hell? He didn't stay in that long, though. He come out, commissary in the bag. So I'm like, damn, is he? 
is he is he wilding? Like, is he tricking? I don't know. I, like, everybody just bust out laughing at the poker table. Like, man, this is nuts. This is crazy, man. I kept playing poker. I kept playing poker. What could I do? Now, this was somebody that I felt like didn't want to be saved. Now, I did also feel like he got lured in by the predator and his wife. You know what I mean? Because the predator and his wife, pause, they like to have three ways. You know what I mean? They like the thrill of turning somebody out. They love that. Like, that's you can see it. Like, the way dude, the way they had dude, like, I went from seeing being all timid on the yard to now he's somebody in the pod now. The white dude, Ricky, who I'm talking about, he's somebody in the pod now that has a slight heart. And when I say that is because he's now walking around with them. He's walking around with them. He looks, you know, he just looks like he's not scared, like, at all. And he don't supposed to look scared, but... After you tag up with the, 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 the predator and his wife, you're supposed to be looking scared. <laughs> Real talk. Because you wildin'. You done, you done got together with the predator and his wife. So I'm like, this is nuts, man. Crazy situation. Crazy situation. So, boom. A little bit of time go by. Ricky and them still. Ricky still hanging in there with um with the dude, uh, 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 C and Teddy. He's still rocking with them. It's a, it's a three-play going on. Pause. You know what I mean? And... I'm seeing the whole situation. The only thing I can think to myself is like, damn, like, like Ricky, that that joke, crap. like, man, for real, man, I couldn't believe it. But you know, you gotta do you in prison. You know what I mean? If you wanna be a homosexual in prison, that's 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 your preference. You can do that, man. You know what I mean? It's not for everybody, but people do it. I guess Ricky wanted to do it. So the dude see y'all. He used to go to they, him and Teddy go to church every Sunday. You know what I mean? They'll go to church every Sunday, and that's where they'll be gone together. Now, the dude, Ricky, he will go to church with them some Sundays. Not every Sunday, but some majority of Sundays he will go. Now, the word I got back that the dude, Ricky, he makes knives. So, the word get back to me. Oh, yo, the white dude make knives. You know what I mean? I'm like, for real. So, I won't even really, I won't interested. I don't want nothing to do with their whole situation at all. I don't want to buy nothing. I don't want to sell nothing. I don't want to do none of these things. The eight ball I had, I sent it to my man. I told him to give me a thousand dollars he could have the rest. I didn't give a shit. I just wanted the money back that I put in to get the two to get to get the ounce that the dude owed me, which was only like four or five hundred dollars at the time. So I was I was winning, you know what I mean? I didn't even do business with them. I didn't I promise y'all, I didn't want to do business with them at all. You know what I mean? For real, they making me kind of not like the pod. They making me really not like the pod on the low. Because the pod was cool. The gambling was cool. My homies was in there. But it was just like, that whole predator and his wife situation, it just started like, I just started hating it. Like, I'm like, man, I'm, like, I'm tired of seeing this, man. Like, this jump with like a uh, family matter sitcom in here or something, man. They got a whole family, man. Like, it's wild. So, with them going to church, you know what I mean? It was another little young black dude in there that he used to rock with too. And it was crazy because they, they used to call the dude, and I never really knew his name either because he was a loner. I want to say his name was, uh, shit, his name, he, he had a dumbass name. I can't even think of it, but he used to run around with them and, and he used to do stuff like this. He used to go wash their bowls. He used to wash their clothes. You know what I mean? He used to do stuff like that. So they paying him to do stuff like that. Who knows whatever, what else favors that he's getting paid for. You know what I mean? But that's the stuff I used to see him do. He, used, he was like the, one of the larger mans that used to wash dudes or wash clothes in, the, in your pod for a fee. You know what I mean? It won't be a lot of money, but they'll wash your drawers and everything. I never got nobody to do it. I ain't even gonna lie. I wash my own drawers. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there are dudes in prison who will wash your drawers for a price. I never done it. I never gave it to nobody to do it. I, I watch my own do those things. Pause. You know what I mean? That's not even a pause, but I do my own laundry, period. You know what I mean? So look, I'm like, damn, man. I'm like, this is crazy. So the dude see and Teddy go to church. The word is out that the dude, Lil Rick, I mean, not Lil Rick, but the dude, Ricky, he's selling knives. So my homeboy, he wants a knife. You know what I mean? He's trying to get a knife. So he go holler at the dude, Ricky, which was a big mistake. I don't know why he did. So I see him over there talking to him. You know what I mean? He talked to him for a second, man. And the only reason he's talking to him is because seeing Teddy's at church. Like, for real, for real, I don't even think I would have let my man go talk to Ricky while they was in the pod because who knows what they would think. They was very territorial over the dude with the funny name and the dude, Ricky. Now, the dude with the funny name, he did all their chores. Like I told y'all, it was to the point where the homosexual dude, Teddy, used to call him his son. 
Like, this is our son. This is my, where my son at? Tell my son, come here. So that's why I didn't really know his name because that's all they used to say. Where my son at? You know what I mean? He would answer to this. He would answer for this. He would, he would be whoever they wanted him to be just so he can have zoom zooms and wham whams. And that was sad how he, you know, how he priced his life, man. He priced his life to the predators just with zoom zooms and wham whams. That was nuts. So I'm like, damn, man, this is crazy, man. I'm like, this is nuts, man. So my man come back like, yo, he was like, yo, the dude Lori say, I mean, the dude Ricky, I keep saying Lil' Ricky. The dude Ricky say, he said, man, the dude Ricky say, he don't want to sell me a junk right now. You know what I mean? But he said he will sell me these two junks that he got. You know what I mean? But he was like, he's holding them for the dude Teddy and the dude uh, C. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? For the dude, you know, I'm like, this is nuts, man. I'm like, man. I'm like, this This is nuts. I'm like, how is he holding them for these people? I'm like, yo, how? Like, I don't understand. You know what I mean? He like, he's holding the, he's holding the junks for them. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, they got him. I was like, bro, matter of fact, bro, I was like, bro, don't buy them junks from them, bro. I'm like, man, I, I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? I was, he, I was like, I wouldn't do it, man. I wouldn't do the junk, man. The dude P, like, he's, he's going to get jealous and... It, Bro, we don't need to be in here fighting no homosexual, bro. Like, he like, yo, you right, you know what I mean? So he counseled the joint, you know what I mean? The dude, Ricky, looked like he was mad after he seen him talking to me that now he's saying he counseled. But I told my man to counsel. I'm like, bro, ain't nobody gonna deal with you, bro. Like, you on fire, mess something with them. Like, we don't want no parts of what y'all got going on. So we stayed where we was doing. We stayed over there where we was at doing what we was doing. And we chilling. Boom, church come back. Now you see the dude, Ricky, talking to... um. Talking to uh, talking to the dude uh, C. Uh, he's talking to the dude C and to the dude Teddy. So look, we watching the jump. You can see the dude. You can see the dude Teddy job snapping on Ricky. Like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking he's telling him like, why the hell you? Why the hell you out here trying to sell? You holding out jump? Blah blah blah. So he snap on him. He snap on him. I'm like, oh. So I never seen him snap on Ricky. Ricky is involved in doing three ways with him and the Predator. I never seen him snap. So I'm looking at the whole situation. I'm like, dang, he snapped on the white boy. Boom. We locked down. We come back out. When we come back out, we go to breakfast. After breakfast, I think it was about to be outside wreck after we came back from breakfast. But before we went to outside wreck, they came in the joint and told uh, the, the homosexual dude, Teddy, that he had to go to medical. He was like, medical? He was like, I ain't put in for medical. It was like, it's a transportation medical joint too. So you got to, like, they be like, I ain't, nah. So he bucked because usually if they do that, they supposed to pack you up, y'all. Like, if you get caught medical outside, they supposed to pack your property. They don't want to be responsible for your property. So if you're packing your property up, you're basically going to lose your room. You know what I mean? That's how it's supposed to go. But... When he, when he heard he had to go on a transportation type of medical joint, he snapped. Teddy snapped. Uh-uh. No. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Call the lieutenant. Call the lieutenant. Lieutenant come up there. He talked to the lieutenant. Boom, boom, boom. He talked to the lieutenant, man. Next thing you know, I guess he basically told him, like, yo, look, ain't nobody going to mess with my property. My property can stay. I'm coming back today or tomorrow. So I'm like, damn. He let him, he let him keep his property. I'm like, damn, they got power. You hear me? They got major power. So look, I'm like, it's nuts, man. This is nuts, man. Like the predator and, and his wife, like <laughs> they got the pot on smash, man. I'm telling y'all, man. They got the store box. He got all the cigarettes and black and miles that you ever could want. But I never really, I got nothing from him. I'm telling y'all, never. I never got nothing from the predator, man. I never liked the predator. I don't like predators. Y'all know that. I do not like predators. So look, boom. The dude Teddy go to, go to the medical. He leave, you know what I mean? He go to medical. Now, all you see is C talking to Ricky. You know what I mean? You see him talking to Ricky. Next thing you know, boom, as the talking went, next thing you know, they disappear. Next thing you know, you see Ricky sliding out the cell. You know what I mean? That was lunchtime. That was lunch after lunch. Boom, we come back out for nighttime. Ricky go back to his cell again. Ricky in there again. I'm like, damn. What the hell is going on, man? He in there, pull me up there. He had that, the brother there, them power driving secret. I mean, all the dude, uh, 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 Ricky ass, man. I'm like, he in that jump. He in there power driving Ricky, man. Like, he done went in there two times with the cut up, close the door, stay in there for a minute. So I'm like, damn. 
like crazy. I'm like, this is nuts, man. This is crazy right here, man. This is nuts, man. So for some reason, I just felt like not knowing that domestic stuff can happen behind somebody that's homosexual and they're cheating. You know what I mean? I never thought that stuff, but I just felt a bad feeling like something is going to happen behind this. You know what I mean? Like usually it's a three-way play. Pause. But now it's, 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 it's just him and the dude Ricky. It's the predator and the dude Ricky. So I'm like, what the hell? So boom. The dude Teddy come back from medical the next day, probably like uh, after lunch. He came like after lunch. Boom, he come in the pie, he go straight to the cell. He came while I was on lockdown. He go, we ain't gonna go to this cell. You know what I mean? Boom. We come out after lunch. As soon as we come out, all you see is him beeline in the Ricky cell. You know what I mean? He get the Ricky cell, the dude Teddy. He get over there, he like, he like, say it ain't, say it ain't so. And he loud as hell in the pie. I'm like, so now I'm coming down the steps. They like under the steps. He like, say it ain't so. Tell me, don't lie to me either. So the dude that he say his son, he come over there. And he like, yo, y'all chill, y'all loud, y'all loud. He said, shut your ass up. Tell me the truth right now. And Ricky was like, and Ricky just went back in his cell. So I guess he went back in his cell for they wouldn't be loud and nobody can hear what he's about to tell him. The dude, Teddy, going to his Ricky cell. Boom, he going to cell. They talk. Child release. That's child release. Boom. They come out. They catch the door. They come out. Boom. We go to child. The whole time we go to child, you see him and Ricky talking. You know what I mean? The dude, see, the predator, he's standing there, not even with them in line like he usually be. You know what I mean? But he's acting like he's talking to one of the dudes in the pod that he usually talk to. So he's lingering back a little bit. But I guess he just wanted them to talk just to get it over with what they was talking about. So I'm like, damn. I know. I can't do it. Something is about to happen. I know it is. So the dude Teddy started to get hostile with his conversation as we're in the child hall. So the dude Ricky, he's going back and forth with them slightly. But they're not loud at all. He just, you know, like they're having a major conversation. You hear me? About what the hell ever they whatever it was i didn't know what it was i kind of knew what it was but i just still didn't know what they were talking about so boom we come back to the jump when we come by the time i get in the pod when i look i see ricky down there by cell 12 i see the dude um, p the predator he's down there by cell 12 and they all standing back there by themselves and they're talking and they're all going back and forth and i just seen dude the predator dude he grabbed Teddy and pulled him in the cell and when he pulled him in the cell the dude ricky went in there and all you heard was I'm like, yo, what the hell? Man, I don't know who the hell's getting their ass whooped. Because from the angle we at, cell 12, nobody can see inside cell 12. Their angle, they're the only when their door open, it faces the, the toilet joint I'm telling you about. So nobody can see what's going on. The only people that was back there was the people that was involved in the incident. Everybody else is hearing what's going on. It's like, so we hear the noise. No police in the pod. Next thing you know, you see the dude, Ricky come out the cell. Ricky come out. But it kind of looked like they threw him out that moment. It looked like he was. When he came out, when he come out, this eyes bloody, you know what I mean? It looked like his nose is black, like bluish, you know what I mean? Like this area is looks, it looks swollen. <laughs> this, this area, this joint looks swollen. His eye looked like it was beat up slightly. I'm looking, I'm like, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, damn, this is nuts. I'm like, yo, this is crazy, man. So you see the dude, see, he come out. You know what I mean? He come out first. He come out with his, with his cup. Like he going to get some hot water. He come out. And he walk to the water fountain. And he like, man, his homeboy walk over there. His homeboy, another dude he talked to from D.C. And uh, the dude that they call their son. He walked over there to him while he was at the jump. And the dude, um, P, just loud as hell at the jump. He like, man, that dude Ricky, man. He was like, man, he lied and said me and him was doing something, man. When, um, which, um, when um, Teddy went to um, medical. He said we was doing something. When we went to medical, we didn't do nothing, man. He came in there to show me something, man. And he in there, he told him, told me he was telling him the truth. Man, we beat his ass in there, man. I'm like, 
oh, they bang Ricky. I'm like, oh, that's messed up. But like, you know what? That's what happens when you deal with predators. Nothing good comes of dealing with predators. You let them lure you into the pod. You let them feed you, treat you good, like your family, like they're having a polygamous family, a polygamous marriage or something. And you got in the middle of all this, and now look how it is. Now you beat up. Now you beat up. So I'm like, this is crazy, man. He loud as hell. They get away with it and everything. I'm like, damn, man, this is crazy, man. They just banked the white dude. You know what I mean? The white dude told the dude, Teddy, that they was messing around when he went to medical. Teddy couldn't take that. I guess Teddy was looking like every time they shake out, they got to be together. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I could think of. That's the only thing I could think of, man. But it was wild. So look. Boom. Ricky take that butt whooping, man. Ricky take that butt whooping. And Ricky's in that cell. You know what I mean? He sat in that cell. He didn't go to child. He didn't come out no more. And like the, the third day, you started seeing Teddy. And, and Teddy will go over there and check on him. You know what I mean? He'll go to Ricky's cell and check on him. Just look at him joint. Talk to him sometime when the door open. And, you know what I mean? Looked like Ricky was healing up slightly. You know what I mean? But he couldn't do nothing. They beat him up. You know what I mean? So I guess they, you know, that's what they do. They destroy you, they break you down, and they build you back up. So I guess the butt whipping was kind of part of their game. You know what I mean? Who knows if the dude Teddy put the medical slip in just for they can work this play and do it like how sinister they are, just for they can turn dudes out more. You know what I mean? But, but nevertheless, it happened. You know what I mean? Ricky's on bed rest for a while. So Ricky's just chilling. You know what I mean? Ricky is just chilling. So we in the pod. You know what I mean? Just a regular day in the pod. You know what I mean? It won't nothing going on. I'm gambling. You know what I mean? Everybody's chilling. It's probably about 7 o'clock at night. It's probably about 7 o'clock at night. And I remember this night so vividly because when we was playing poker, I was skinning them. This was the day I was up. And I remember this because because of them, I didn't win anything. But at the particular time, I was up. I was up in the pod with the, in, the, in the poker. I done won probably about three, four hands straight. You know what I mean? The first one, I caught a wheel. Anybody that plays poker know what a wheel is? That's one, two, three, four. That's, can't beat that hand. You got only thing that can beat that hand, you can tie that hand is with another wheel. So I was winning, y'all. And as I'm winning, I look and I see the dude, Teddy. He's standing over there by the pay phones. And then the dude, Pete, he's standing over there by the, uh, like kind of by the booth. A little bit by the booth, but they're not far apart from each other. But when I look, Ricky's not in the cell on bed rest anymore. Ricky's walking around the pod doing laps. So I'm trying to figure out why is he doing laps. Ricky used to always have the little radio joint too. Like, you know, we had CD players and all that stuff around this time, but they used to sell the little small little AM, FM radios that kind of look like a little bigger than a beeper. You know what I mean? You can just clip it right on your joint. And it was just like, you know, if you into the radio like that, you get it. I wasn't into it. But he would always have that on, and he was just walking laps. So as I see him walking laps, I'm just saying in my head, like, damn, I thought he was just. So I'm watching the, 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 uh, the homosexual dude, t um, Teddy. Teddy's watching him. You know what I mean? C is, C, um, P is not watching him. P isn't watching him. P got his back turned kind of like talking to the dude in cell one. You know what I mean? Ricky's walking laps. He's spinning apart. He's spinning apart. He's spinning apart. I start playing poker. Boom, 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 boom. We're playing again. He's playing again. When I look, I say, ah! When I look, this is my word. The dude, Ricky, came at him with the hammer. When I look, his shirt was red, so I guess he hit him. I didn't catch when he hit him, but I hear, him, I hear the noise, ah! And then I look, his shirt is red, and then I see the dude, Ricky, he's going like this. As Ricky going like this, man, this is my word. All you seen was the dude, Teddy, just come Goldberg. Man, he Goldberg Ricky ass. <clears throat> Lift Ricky ass off his feet. Man, Ricky ass was in the air like he got tackled by Nicholas Bosa. My <laughs> word. Man, he tackled Ricky. He tackled Ricky. I told y'all Ricky wasn't a big dude anyway. But when he was going out there, uh, time, man, that dude, Teddy, came from by that phone. And it was like perfect timing. Boom! Boom! He on top of them. They fighting. The dude, Ricky, trying to... Man, it's my word. See? See recovered? He's like, man, what the heck? What the heck? Man, he ran over there, man. Man, this is my word. The dude's... Uh, uh, Ricky was on his back. Still trying to... Still trying to strike. He was still trying to strike with the knife. Man, the dude... The dude out of nowhere. He bent down and grabbed... 
Ricky by that hair, that Scooby, that that uh, the dude from Scooby Doo. I told you he looked like he grabbed him by that damn hair. And he man, he man, he yanked him so hard, man. He pulled hair out. He mm, he pulled hair out. And then Ricky was like, ah, and Ricky trying to now. Ricky going this way. Man, it's my word. The dude Teddy got a hold of that damn knife. He got his arm like this. He got his arm. Let it go. Man, it's my word. The dude, the dude play. He's stomping this man. He, man, look, his arm is pink. The dude Teddy got his arm pink. The lady right there in the booth, the lady rocked with them so much. The lady has not even shot the gun. The lady just right there on the phone, gun in hand. Now, they right there. If she shoots somebody, dude, uh, Teddy. But she rocked with them. She seen the white dude, Ricky, try to attack the predator. She's not taking no sides. She didn't shoot. She let them drag him into the police camp. Man, my word, Teddy had a nigga arm. And the knife was like, he went and let that damn knife go, but he couldn't swing it. The dude's um, P is stomping his, I know his wrist was broke. He stomped his wrist and he kicked the boom, boom, boom. As soon as the door opened, the police came and the police tackled P ass. Boom, they tackled him. Cause they was right there by the door. Man, he tackled his ass. They get him, this is my word. They said, get the knife. They get the knife out of Ricky hand, man. This is my word, Ricky got up. He couldn't even really move his arm, man. I, that's how I know he broke his wrist. Like he got up, he was like, I can't. I can't, like, it's like, put your hands, be like, ah! They still handcuffed his ass and everything, ah! The whole time they're taking him out, it's like, it was, ah! See, man, it never ends well, man. It never ends well, y'all. It never does, man. The predator and his wife went to the hole. And Ricky went to the hole. The predator and his wife got out. They ended up in another building. But we didn't have to see those people no more in 4D, man. And I was happy, y'all. I was happy, man. Like I just, it was just too much going on, man. It was just too much going on, and and just to see how they was moving, husband and wife, and predator and wife, like it was just wild to me. It was wild to witness, y'all. It was wild to witness a situation like that, man. But like I told y'all, we never saw. I I never saw Ricky again. But uh, the dude P and, and 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 the dude Teddy, they end up going to two building. So now they're in two building, back together again. But that's the end of the story, y'all. But I have to give y'all these type of stories like I told y'all, man. Like, I don't want to see none of my people, man, because, like, anything can happen. Like, even the people that are civilians, like, you mess up or if something happens, you happen to get framed for something and you end up going to prison, you have to be prepared for these people. If, you, if this ever happens to anybody that's watching my stories, man, just remember all those thumbnails that I put that had the predator body and all that. That's how you got to look at these people. You have to think of them as the predator. <laughs> Real talk, because that's who they are. They're very slick. They're very conniving. They got good game. And they'll talk you out your shoes if you're weak. You know what I mean? You have to be strong, man. But to avoid all that, just stay out the way. That's it. Just stay your ass out the way. And you can avoid these predators. Because they out there lurking. And they out there waiting. You know what I mean? They waiting on y'all to come to prison, man. Why y'all be t thinking I be telling y'all to stay out the way, man? Because I don't want the guys to be watching my channel. To go in there and have to experience this, man, because they'll go at people, man. And I don't want you, I don't want y'all to have to go through that situation, man. So that's why I tell these stories. And that's why I'ma keep telling these stories. This one was nuts. The predator and his wife, y'all. I thank y'all for watching, man. Real talk, man. I thank y'all, man. Turn me up on this one, y'all. Turn me up. Let's get it, man. We need it, man. Like, share, and subscribe, man. We have to go up on this one, man. I seen a lot of crazy stuff in there, man. The predator and his damn wife. Let's get it, man. Love y'all to death, man. Y'all already know what to do, man. Stay y'all ass out the way. Get your money, don't care who judge. Stay out the way. Surround yourself with nothing but love. Stay out the way. If you a gangster, killer or thug. Stay out the way. Put your faith in the man above. Stay out the way. Chill with your family, siblings and blood. Stay out the way. Kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club. Stay out the way. Mind on your money, ain't no switching it up. Stay out the we way. Stand out the way. What you thought that it was. Stay out the way. If you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous. Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement. Now your name on affidavits and court indictments can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless. You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you. Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes.